I will be ranking all the fruits in block fruits, starting off with the kilo fruit. Okay, so the kilo fruit is kind of like a curse in the block fruit. No one really wants it, but everyone gets it. It's not good for grinding. It's very decent for PvP, like... No, it's, it's actually bad for PvP. And overall, really just kilo fruit isn't that good. Unfortunately, the kilo fruit will have to go to the far tier. So the next fruit is the spin fruit. So this fruit is not at all good for grinding. And also for PvP, it's actually pretty decent. So overall, spin fruit is just there. And for trading, it's not good at all. No one really wants it. And this fruit is also another curse. No one wants it and everyone gets it. So I'm pretty comfortable with putting this fruit on the far tier. So the next fruit is the cha fruit. So the top is not really the best for grinding within itself because it deals very low damage but it has this really cool passive where it can dodge sword attacks and it also has a pretty okay flight so for pp it's not it's not good it is just not good it's really hard to hit your moves with this fruit because the moves are very small okay and this one should also go without saying that nobody wants this fruit for trading again it's another curse no one wants it but everyone gets it so i'm comfortable with putting chop on the far tier Man, the far tier is getting too many fruits. All right, the next fruit is the spring fruit. So the spring fruit is not at all good for grinding, okay? The V move kind of sucks, Z move sucks, and the C move sucks. It is a very bad fruit for grinding. And for PvP also, it's not good at all because the moves barely deal any damage and they're pretty hard to hit. And for trading, no one wants the spring fruit. Again, it's another curse. No one wants it, but everyone kind of gets it. This will go to a comfortable far tier yet again. When will it get better? So the next fruit is going to be the bomb fruit. So after the rework, the bomb fruit is really good now. It has some really good moves, which are really useful for grinding. And my favorite move has to be the V move. Look at this. If you can fully charge it up, it does a big AOE. Look at how much damage it dealt. That is crazy. So the bomb fruit is not really good for trading. It is also pretty common, but for how common it is, it is really cool. So for bomb, I'll give this a comfortable C tier. Nice. So the next fruit is going to be the smoke fruit. Now the smoke fruit is pretty good for grinding. It's a low gear fruit, so you can easily dodge these attacks. And after the rework, it is much better. Look at how good that is. You can just hover around all day. But for PvP, it's a whole different story. For PvP, it's really not that good. The moves are very small and hard to hit. Not really the best for PvP. So overall, the smoke fruit is pretty good, but at the same time, no. And for trading, it's not really the best. So I will give smoke a comfortable D tier. So the next fruit is going to be the spike fruit. And again, this fruit also got a rework, which made it much better. This fruit is way better now, but honestly, it's not really the best for grinding. And it's not really the best for PvP either. It is actually pretty mid for PvP. And for trading, again, it's not that good because it's a very low value fruit. So I'll give spike a comfortable D tier. Our next fruit is going to be the flame fruit. Now the flame fruit is really solid for grinding and it also has awakening which makes the fruit way stronger. Look at that. Look at that AOE. That is huge. This fruit is also really good for PvP. Look at that. It covers the entire arena. That is massive. And now the flame fruit is pretty mid for trading. It is not the best but not the worst either. I'll give flame a comfortable A tier because of how good it is with the awakening. Okay, so the next fruit is going to be the falcon fruit. Now the falcon is pretty bad for grinding and the moves are really small so they deal less damage and there's barely any AOE moves so all that combined makes the fruit pretty bad. Now for PvP, it's actually not the worst. You can pull some really good combos with it if you're good enough. But if you're no skill like me, then this fruit is pretty bad again. And again, this fruit is pretty bad for trading. No one really wants it. This fruit is again a curse. It's like a Walmart version of Phoenix. So I'll be very comfortable to put this in a solid far tier. Get it? Because the brown, brown, haha, <laughs> get it? Nah, oh, man. So the next fruit is going to be the ice fruit. So the ice fruit is pretty good for grinding. It has some pretty good range attacks. It also has the spear, which you can M1 with. And it has a pretty cool freeze move. It stuns them for quite a while actually. Now honestly the best part with this fruit and the grinding is going to be the trident. Look at how cool this is. It deals pretty good damage too. And this fruit also has awakening which makes it pretty good. The awakening doesn't really change too much about the fruit. But yeah it definitely does make it just a tiny bit stronger I guess. Now it's also very good for PvP. You can do crazy combos with this. You can freeze them and combo them with anything. And also another really cool thing about this fruit is that you can walk on water with this fruit. 
look at that isn't that just insane and this fruit is also pretty mid for trading it isn't really the highest value but you can definitely find some trade with this so i'll give ice fruit a comfortable a tier right with the flame fruit the next fruit is going to be the sand fruit so the sand fruit is just okay for grinding not really the best not really something you would want to use and this fruit has a pretty strong of an awakening it can do some crazy stunts with this x move and it has this really good aoe of a move with the ultimate move this fruit is really good within itself but for pvp oh my god this fruit is like too op like a little too op it used to be even more op but it got nerfed a little but that's completely fine you can pull off some crazy combo like this and then the v move it drags people this fruit is really op for pvp and really just general everything but do note that this fruit takes double damage in the water be careful it's not really the best for trading but it's really good for everything else so i'll really just give this fruit a comfortable a tier our next fruit is going to be the dark fruit now the dark fruit is already pretty good all the skills look really cool and they're also really good for grinding too you just have to be a little bit smart to grind with this fruit but this fruit also has an awakening and this awakening is probably one of the best awakenings in the game it is legit the best look at that it just pulls them in it's so easy to combo with this this fruit is really just more so of a combo fruit and a support fruit than a fruit for fruit mains this fruit is really good for pvp and the v move has a really good aoe look at that crazy so the dark fruit is pretty okay for trading i would give this a comfortable a tier again nice so the next fruit is going to be the revive fruit so the revive fruit is really just not meant for grinding at all it doesn't have an awakening it doesn't have the best moves it's not good for grinding at all but for pvp it's a whole different story for pvp this fruit is really good if you're skilled enough one of the biggest selling point for this fruit has to be this resurrection ability now if i if i die then I will come back to life. Look at this. Just look at that. I am now a skeleton. I had that second life. Now I'm back with 50% HP. I can kill this guy easily. Yeah, look at that. So the revive fruit is not really the best for trading, but it's still pretty good for PvP. So I'll give revive fruit a comfortable D tier. Our next fruit is going to be the diamond fruit. Now the diamond fruit isn't the best for grinding, but it gives you a lot of defense. So if he damages me right now, I get damage to 862 damage. Okay. Now if I just activate this and turn on my Buso Haki, look at how much I get damage now. That's legit half the damage. That is overpowered. Now, of course, we can increase this defense by putting on an accessory that gives us a lot of defense. Let's say something like Swan Glasses. Look at how little damage that is. This fruit is really just meant to be used for defense. It's not really the best for grinding. The AoE is not that good. Overall, it's not good for grinding at all. For PvP as well, it really just serves the same function. It is good for defense, but not the best for offense. If he damages me right here, Look at, he, he barely deals any damage. Now, of course, you can use this with something else, but diamond within itself, not that good. So the diamond fruit is pretty bad for trading. Really, it's just used for defense and nothing else. So diamond fruit, a solid C tier. So the next fruit is going to be the light fruit. Now, the light fruit is really good for grinding. It has really good attacks, high damage dealing moves, and some pretty good AoE. And it has the fastest flight in the game. Look at that. It also has an awakening, which makes the flight way faster. You can also switch to your directions of the flight. Now, the awakening makes it way stronger. It is much better for grinding now. And it's also really good for PvP because of the C move. You can combo with it. It's just overall really a good fruit. And the light fruit is also pretty good for trading. You can probably get some good trades with this. So I'll give light a really good A tier. And then our next fruit is going to be love. So love is pretty okay for farming. It's not good, but not the worst. But if you're skilled enough, then love can be really deadly in PvP. Look at that stun. That is crazy. Now the damage is pretty okay. But honestly, just use this fruit only if you're really skilled. And again, for trading it's pretty decent. So honestly, it's just fair to give love a solid D tier. And then the next fruit is rubber. Honestly, rubber is probably one of my favorite fruit after this update. All the moves are much better. And my favorite move has to be this one. Slingshot. Look at that. You can just fling away. We can't forget about the gear too. 
Look at that. This is too OP, man. And then for a slingshot, it goes even farther and it goes way faster. Look at that. Oh my god. Now, rubber is pretty good for grinding, honestly. Very good fruit. And for PvP, this fruit is awesome because of how high the damage on this rush is. This rush is, of course, very hard to hit if you're not skilled. If you're no skill like me, then yeah, this fruit isn't the best for PvP. So for trading, rubber is pretty decent. Not everyone wants it, but you can definitely get some good deal if you search hard enough. I would like to give it a rating of B. So our next fruit is Barrier. Barrier is really not the best for grinding. And there's not really much to talk about other than walls and stairs. Yeah. This fruit is very interesting for PvP. Of course, you have to be skilled enough to hit these moves. Look at that. Now, this man is trapped inside. He can't do anything. I can just hit him however I want. So, the barrier fruit is not really the best for PvP either. If you're skilled enough, you can do some sick combos with the V move, but that's kind of it. And barrier isn't really the best for trading either. No one really wants it. No one wants it from the random fruit spin either. So, yeah, uh, good luck trading barrier if you ever get it. So, honestly, I will really just give barrier a solid D tier. In my opinion, it really needs awakening. It just doesn't work at all. And our next fruit is magma. So the magma fruit is really good for grinding. It's almost meant for grinding. This is the F move. You can just hold this down forever. It takes up no energy and it deals constant damage. That is just too OP. This fruit also has an awakening. So the awakening makes the fruit way stronger and the awakening makes it way better for PvP as well. Now speaking of the PvP, the PvP of this fruit, not the best for practical uses, but it deals a lot of damage. The skills are of course a bit hard to hit. Overall, this fruit is probably like the top two best fruit for grinding. Also, when you awaken the fruit, you can walk on water. Look at how cool that is. Now you can also easily defeat any sea beast if you want. Now this fruit is the best for sea beast grinding. Look at all that damage. And the sea beast dies there. Oh my god. This is most definitely the highest damage dealing fruit. So yeah, magma is also pretty decent for trading. It's of course not that valuable, but you can probably get a good trade if you search hard enough. Overall, magma is a really versatile fruit. I'll have to give this 2 OP tier. It's mostly because of the damage. This fruit takes the cake for the 2 OP. So our next fruit is door. Now, door isn't really meant for grinding. It's not meant for any of this. But of course, you can use it for grinding. If you're one of those guys who really scare me, door is really just meant for teleporting. We can go to Hydra Arena and talk about the PvP right here. So the PvP on this fruit is really not the best. But if you're skilled enough, you can definitely use this. You can do the X move right here, pop out from behind, and then do a crazy combo. Yeah. And yeah, this fruit is actually pretty good for trading too. You can definitely get a good trade with this fruit. Door is really versatile. I will have to give this a solid B tier. Oh my god. I told you before, Kilo is a curse. No one wants it, but everyone gets it. Yep. And our next fruit is the Quake Fruit. So honestly, Quake Fruit is not good for grinding. This fruit does way too much knockback to be any good for grinding. But this fruit also has an awakening. Again, the awakening is not good at all for grinding. It is, of course, too much knockback to be any good for grinding. But of course, once a great man said, if not good for grinding, then good PP. Yeah, this fruit is really good for PP. This fruit is really annoying to face. Look at that. Just too much knockback. He's all the way there. Oh my god. Oh well, how did that not damage you? Well, he's barely surviving. Quake Fruit is also pretty good for trading. You can definitely get some good trades with this. Quake Fruit is really good for PvP and trading, but not that good for grinding. I'll put this in a comfortable B tier. The next fruit is going to be the Buddha Fruit. The Buddha Fruit is not really used for the fruit itself. It's actually used for extending the hitbox. Look at how big it makes the hitboxes. But yeah, the skills are just okay. And of course, this fruit also has an awakening. People only use this awakening for the Z move, of course. It makes the hitbox way bigger again. You just cannot take any damage like this. Really good for grinding. Probably the top one for grinding, actually. Now, of course, the Buddha Fruit isn't really that good for PvP. People can easily damage you. You're just a walking target. And also, with Buddha, you can walk on water. Water. The Buddha Awakening is so huge that you legit touch the floor of the sea. The Buddha fruit is really good for trading. Like this fruit is worth a lot. So of course, I will put Buddha on the 2 OP tier. It is just a S++++, okay? The next fruit is the String Fruit. 
Okay, so the string fruit is not really that good for grinding, but of course, this is the unawakened version, so can't expect anything. So string fruit also has an awakening, which makes this fruit way stronger than it was before. It's still not good for grinding, but of course, if it's not good for grinding, it has to be good for PvP. And you're right about it. It is really good for PvP. It has big AoEs, really good range, and of course, some really high damage. Look at the damage. And of course, string fruit is very good for trading. So honestly, I'll give this a solid b tier so our next fruit is going to be the phoenix fruit okay so the phoenix fruit is really not that good for grinding but it does have an awakening which makes it way stronger for anything really and of course phoenix is really good for pp but honestly it is very brain dead you can just do this run and heal too brain dead man that is too brain dead. okay so phoenix is really good for trading too you can definitely get a good trade with this phoenix i'll give phoenix a solid b tier it was way more op before but it got nerfed pretty hard okay so our next fruit is going to be rumble now rumble is a really good fruit for grinding it also has this really really big skill look at that this is the unawakened version and the awakened version makes it way stronger you have three more teleports and of course can't forget about the thunderbolts and this move it is probably one of the biggest aoe i have ever seen in this game look at that oh my god but is it good for pvp of course it is good for pvp it does a lot of stunts and the three teleports come in really handy and of course rumble is also very good for trading i'll give rumble fruit a solid b tier so our next fruit is going to be paw honestly paw isn't really that good for grinding this fruit really needs an awakening but is it good for pvp well that's a great question and my answer is no not really but of course if you know how to use it and if you have the skills of course it's really good but honestly paw as a fruit main is not that good and paw isn't really that good for trading either no one really wants paw at this point paw isn't the worst thing but you can definitely make it work i'll give paw a comfortable c tier it's just mid so the next fruit is going to be gravity gravity is really really underrated like too underrated after the rework it has gotten some massive buffs i'll show you why it's underrated that is so much damage right there you can use that in grinding hell you can even use it in pvp oh god kind of missed but look at that oh my god that is a straight up one shot combo it is too underrated i use it all the time and of course gravity straight up sucks for trading no one wants it no one trades for it gravity never works for trading i'll give this a solid b tier it is not the best but it does so much damage if you can hit it so the next route is going to be doe Doe isn't really that good for farming right here. But really, who uses the unawakened version of Doe? Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about now. Look at this. Oh my god, I hate this fruit so much. Now this is what I'm talking about. Oh my I legit hate this fruit for how overpowered this is. I don't even know if this is good for grinding, honestly. Everything damages, like everything. This move damages, this damages. Oh my god, bro. All these moves combined, they're gonna be way better for PvP. Which brings me on to the next point. Now, this fruit is too goaded for PvP. Like, I think it's a little too OP. And then you can like just do any move and then they're dead. You just can't do anything about that. And Doe is really, really good for trading. Like this fruit is very overpriced. This fruit goes more than the dragon fruit. It is crazy. Okay, so for Doe, I'll have to put it on 2 OP right there. Doe is just 2 OP. So the next fruit is going to be the shadow fruit. Now, the Shadow Fruit isn't really that good for grinding, but it does have some really good moves. Honestly, there are some moves like this C move, which gives you lifesteal, which basically regens your health. The shadow is pretty decent for grinding, but really this fruit is just meant for mainly PvP, because look, you can do some crazy combos. But yeah, this fruit is really just meant for PvP. This fruit is really good for trading too. You can probably get some good trades with this fruit. And for Shadow, it's really meant for mostly a PvP fruit, so A will be pretty fair. Our next fruit, is going to be the venom fruit so the venom fruit is really good for farming it has this poison damage which is one of the things that make it really op it also have this f move and you can circle around npcs and easily kill them like that i still haven't went over the transformation the transformation is too op if you jump and then stomp right there it will create these poison puddles which deal a lot of damage now of course we can gather a bunch of npcs right there and do the c move but that does a lot of damage and you probably guessed it already for pvp this fruit is straight up busted you can do this x move and it deals a lot of damage i think a little too much damage oh god he's actually gonna die in one move no oh that was just one move and again the transformation 
transformation. Oh my god. The transformation makes this X move really long range. Look at I hit him from that far. And he died like that. And I forgot to tell you, these moves actually mess up your screen. Make your screen go funny funny. Another little fun fact. I don't know who came up with this buff, but why? So this is the normal F move flight. And if I just take a little bit of damage, look at how much faster I am. Why does it get faster? Of course, this fruit is really good for trading. This fruit is really rare and really good for trading. You can get a bunch of good fruits with this. And of course, this fruit will easily take the 2 OP tier. All right, so next up, we have the control fruit. Now, the control fruit is really not good for grinding. Honestly, fruit within itself is pretty weak. But where this fruit really shines is when you're at the right place. This fruit will shine at the sea castle. So you can just create this area, lift this up and just straight up do this look at that oh it didn't explode what all right let's take this one look at how big the explosion is gonna be why why is it not exploding but what i can grab this bridge and just throw it right like that and watch the explosion oh my god bro what <laughs> and just watch it explode look at how big that aoe was if you can compare it to this generic rock definitely way bigger so the control fruit is really not that good for trading this fruit costs 3.2 million and it's worth basically nothing in trading so overall this fruit is really not that good not good for grinding not good for anything really but it's just it's pretty fun to use so i'll give this a c so our next fruit is going to be the soul fruit so the soul fruit is actually pretty good for grinding because you can summon these buddies right here which can help you kill these enemies and this vmo right here that deals a lot of damage and of course this fruit is very op for pvp you can do this and the vmo deals way too much damage and he's dead that didn't even take any effort that is straight up crazy you can summon these buddies this guy stuns this guy poisons and of course this fruit is also really good for trading you can trade it for some pretty crazy stuff so i'll give soul a solid 2 op right there the next fruit is going to be dragon so dragon sucks straight up sucks for grinding it does too much knockback it doesn't have a lot of stun moves it is not good for grinding at all and for pvp this fruit is actually pretty easily countered you can just go up in the air and that's gonna be the easy counter but if you're on the land you're basically gonna die but of course the dragon form is really op it gives you a lot of defense and of course a lot of aoe but of course this dragon fruit is really op for trading you can get some crazy stuff with this so yeah dragon honestly pretty okay for pvp it's pretty bad for grinding so honestly i'll give this a straight up a tier and then the last last fruit is going to be the leopard fruit okay so this fruit is an actual joke none of the moves take any stamina nothing it is really op for grinding and then the v move oh my god of course it takes no stamina it has m1s it takes no stamina to do the m1s and the moves are also really big and op you can spam this fruit forever without draining any energy as you would have guessed it it is too op for pvp by the way, that roar right there, that is a can break. This is the perfect fruit for all the spammers, for all the no skills, just like me. And of course, as you probably would have guessed, this fruit is really OP for trading. It is worth the most. And right now, it goes for game passes and stuff. You can get game passes with this fruit. This should go without saying which tier this fruit will be on. It doesn't even need any reason. Well, if you like this video, then you'll probably like these ones too. So go watch them now. And subscribe for that man face blessings so you can also get these two OP fruits. And bye.